we're going to look at mounting the Gramberg auxiliary oiler kit. So this is mounted on the underside of the bar. What I'm going to do first of all is just get a thin ruler in there to measure down to see exactly how much depth in the groove there is because it, it can vary from bar to bar. So here you can see we have pretty much exactly one centimetre or ten mil. So I mean you can see the hole of the nose of the bar there so it really wants to be mounted up as pretty much as far as you can possibly go because then you'll get more milling distance. So we know that that it's really handy having these little rulers, that's a centimetre. Again, just remember on steel bars, Oregon bars, that, that distance can change. So, if I now measure there, it's hard to... So here, I'm just going to mark off there. So, that scratch there, so that scratch there I've just put in is that that is where the the bottom of the bar in the groove is and you can sort of see there's a you actually get this small piece of chain here so you can see from here to here there's a, a bit of space and that's you need that so that as you square the bar rails up that will gradually get smaller but the oiler we want to feature so it's just coming through this area here. Uh, a bio chain oil which is quite sticky and gets gunky very quickly so the oiler hole usually is a lot smaller than that but I've actually drilled mine out and that's easy enough to do. Remember you're only drilling into the channel that is within within this bolt. That's hollow there look so don't, if you do open out the oiler hole, don't drill all the way through. And you wouldn't be killing yourself if you did, but you're only going into the channel there. So that is what is going to be fitted up into that. So next job is get yourself a 8mm drill bit. Now drilling the bar is tough but it, try and buy those new if you can. If you use an old one, you'll just be there forever. So what I do next is, is take the, uh, take the drill bit, this is the eight mil one, and place it, so see the line there, so it's just edging out over that line. And now again, the pin, just going to scratch around it. So there you can see see where the drill bit's going to go. And just by eye, mark out the centre of that. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of oil on there. It can be anything you like, really. Um, just to lubricate the drill bit. Now what you do is just drill slowly. That's what you really want to see. Curly bits of metal coming off. If you go too fast or the drill bit is dull.
this stage you suddenly think I've drilled the pilot in the wrong place. Um, you can always come up slightly, probably not too much room here, but certainly you can come down slightly into here. I know you'd lose a bit of willing mitts down the bar, but you can always move the hole. You haven't ruined the bar by doing that. Okay, so he's looking pretty good. So now, we put the 8mm drill bit on, he'll just overlap that line just there that we drew earlier. It's the same procedure again. I'm just using a battery drill. But it just means getting the right drill bits. These are Bosch metal drill bits and making sure someone else hasn't borrowed them. see we've got our 8mm hole in the bar. I don't know if you can see that just down the bottom. That's where the bottom of the bar groove is. I'm just going to clean off any burrs that are in there. You see don't go too mad with that. It's literally just to clean off any surplus metal. So that's it, and that's your oiler hole. Now we'll just tighten them up. Mm, so you just move the fraction then. Tweaking back. Okay, I'm going to use the auxiliary oiler now. All for demo purposes, really. The log's not huge, so. And here's where we control the flow of oil. You can adjust it up or down. <laughs> 